what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? CNN anchor Jake Tapper called Farrakhan a vile LGBTQ anti-Semitic misogynist. He also said that he couldn't believe that the Fox channel would air such propaganda. Ice Cube bust back. Ice Cube told him, watch your mouth, Jake. Right on. Farrakhan also got some opposition from ADL frontman Jonathan Greenblatt. He said that Farrakhan deserved condemnation, not exposure. He said that Farrakhan has called Jews, termites, and members of the LGBTQ community degenerates. Um, I'm not sure if he used those terms about the Jews but I have heard him say that the Jews are our friends. They are our brothers. I, heard, I have, have heard him be critical of Jews. Yes. But Farrakhan is critical of anybody who gets out of pocket, including black folks. Who you have no problem going in on. I uh, haven't heard him say anything disparaging about gays, but I have heard him uplift the gay community. I have heard him say, these are our brothers and sisters. Now, the uh, president, the, the head guy in charge at Fox Soul. Fox Soul is a streaming um uh, service that's geared toward black Americans. And so the guy that's over it, the main guy that's over it, uh, I can't catch his, I can't remember his first name, but his last name is DuBose. And this guy, he crumbled under pressure. I don't think he had a choice. Well, I know he didn't have a choice, but he crumbled under pressure and they used him to give a statement and say that they're no longer going to air the Farrakhan speech that was supposed to air on the 4th of July, Monday. They said that they would replace the Farrakhan speech with leaders of the black community. I heard Martin Luther King's name, Malcolm's name, and Cornell West. Now, I can see Martin, Cornell, but Malcolm, y'all know damn well they wouldn't be airing a Malcolm speech if Malcolm wasn't dead. And I suspect that the same thing will happen once Farrakhan dies. Everybody will start talking about how great of a man he was. You know why? Because Farrakhan says the things that a lot of us are afraid to say. Not me, but you know what I'm saying. Perhaps more than any other human being in the last 30 years, Farrakhan has helped more black people beat the streets, beat drugs, beat abuse. He's probably cleaned up more black men than anybody, including the government, especially the government. All of these organizations combined. This is why they don't like Farrakhan. People say bad things all the time. People say things that people don't agree with all the time. But see, when you are for black people and you stand on it, you're going to be under attack. 
they are going to take you and shake it up, man. And, you know, my thing for a long time has always been, I'm not going to let somebody else dictate who I'm going to be friends with. You can't pick my friends for me. What I want to know is, what kind of work does the ADL do for the black community? What do they do? What does Jake Tapper do, do for the black community? So you got to be very careful of these white liberals. See, Jake come off as one of those type of dudes that, oh, he really cares about justice, da 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 But then he takes one of our heroes, and yeah, he is a hero, and he tries to drag him through the mud. And many black people are so coward, they'll sit back and watch the action. Okay, Farrakhan ain't perfect. Gotcha. Okay, he says some disparaging things about everybody. Gotcha. But is he worse than some of the people that are allowed to talk on television, to be on these specials and have TV shows and, and, and movies and be on commercials and even run some of these major media outlets? Are you telling me that Jake... Tapper is a better human being than Farrakhan? That Jonathan Greenblatt is a better human being? More necessary than Farrakhan? Farrakhan, again, has done more single-handedly for the black community. I bet you than almost all these dudes combined that's running around here talking about community service and this and that. And that's not to take away anything from the people that's doing the work for real. I'm talking about the fakers. I'm talking about the ones out here that they look up to. The ones that these companies, these organizations tell you, yeah, they're, they're cool to be, they're cool to take a picture with. Yeah, okay, we like them. You can take a picture with him. Okay, you can kick it with them. Okay. You, they're approved. Go ahead. 2020, and black people still letting other folks tell them who they can be friends with. And make no mistake about it. The majority of black people who don't like Farrakhan only don't like him because them folks told them not to like Farrakhan. It's sad, fam. When I look at the work, the man has put the work in. You trying to tell me somebody who sings, who, who raps, who makes movies, who got a nice business where they made themselves a millionaire but ain't, no, ain't made no other millionaires? You mean to tell me that they can have action on TV and Farrakhan can't? A man? I'm going to tell you something else. If it wasn't for Farrakhan, some of these black people would have burned a whole lot of things down by now. See, they don't talk about that part. Don't try to kill the messenger. Kill the cause that inspired the message to be delivered. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.